I'm Mike Pierce, 16 Heaven Avenue. And about three or, three or so weeks ago, I requested a copy of your budget that you are working on. <coughs> and uh, anyway, I want to get to the other point first. I think about the same time, about three weeks ago, somebody, I think it was Mary Louise, I'm not sure, requested to having the budget put on the town website so the legislative body, who are the voters, can actually watch it as you go through it. And I don't know why it's still not there. I think it's a very puzzling question. I heard some uh, comments made about it, but I don't, can't see any reason myself why it's not there. Because after all, the voters are the ones that are going to vote it up or down. And you'd like for the voters to be informed, I would think, and follow the discussion and debate you folks have as you go along. So I think it should be on the town website. And I would like to know why it isn't. And then the second point I'd like to bring up is <clears throat> I asked for the budget myself. Initially, I was told I couldn't have it. And I said, well, I will ask for it under 91A. And I did. Five days later, which is the legal limit, I was told it would have to be either on CD or printed, not a simple email. It could take a couple of clicks and be gone, not take up much time of it. Uh, for anybody to have to work on it. In other words, they could just take the file off the computer and attach it to an email and away it goes. Putting on the CD is about the same length of time, probably four or five minutes on a slow day, and a CD doesn't even cost 50 cents on a, on a really expensive day. So putting that all together five <coughs> days later and $25 later, I got it on a CD. If I remember correctly, 91A says cost. What it cost to produce the item. There's absolutely no way in this God's world that it could cost $25 to produce that file I asked for. That is outrageous, okay? Because I think it's outrageous and I feel very strongly about it being as I have my own copy now, I am willing to share that with all the taxpayers and the legislative body in Hampton who would like to see it, because it seems like it's difficult for them to get it any other way. So I'm very concerned about that when it comes to being an open and honest government. That's really all I have to say. Thank you, and have a nice evening. Thank you, sir.